It was an impressive performance by Sam Goodman tonight. Yeah, against adversity, um, carried, the, carried the weight of being the headliner yet again and came up with a great performance. He came to fight um, Warwick. Yeah, and now, I mean, we've been saying it. We've been saying it leading up to it. He's number eight in the world. He can fight, and he hasn't tasted defeat. So uh, when you walk into the ring without defeat, you know, you, you feel confident. You walk different. You know, you, you take punches different. You, you, you have a lot less fear in you. Um, and he showed that tonight. He, he lacked fear, um, and he wanted to, to get amongst it, and he really pushed Sam really hard, and that's what we wanted. We wanted someone to push Sam hard, get him ready for what lies around the corner. Sam brought the f um, fight, um, came forward all night. Um, a few hairy moments in there, got uh, clipped a few times. Um, how were the nerves? Well, we don't get to see Sam get clipped. It rarely happens, but when he fights in a way, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, the guy's he's brilliant. He, he will land a punch on, on Sam at some stage, and he's got to be able to take it, react, and move forward and uh, I think he did that really well tonight was he, uh, he caught a lot of punches. He's defensively he was great, caught a lot of punches, dodged a lot of punches but when he took them, he took them clean and he got straight back to the game plan whether he counted or he, or he moved, you know, I thought he did a really good job um, of getting in there and mixing it up and the crowd loved it too. Um, it's a, it was a different side of Sam so the crowd really enjoyed that and, and I enjoyed it too, you know, it was Nervous moments, obviously, but he did well. What happens now? Obviously, the hand injury, um, will that uh, have an impact on things moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the plan was to get going straight away, uh, get, get ready for um, the next fight straight away, you know, get straight into camp, be ready, be prepared. Uh, and now we've got to wait for, for the results of his scans, see how long the recovery time is, but he's not going to sit around waiting. He'll be doing absolutely everything that he can the outside of that hand injury to make sure that when he's coming back, he's 100%. He's a, he's a world-class fighter, and he trains at a world-class level now too, so he knows what he's got to do, and he knows that he can't leave any stone unturned. What do you need to do to make that in a way fight happen? We've got a bit of work to do. <laughs> well, look, all the pressure's on us, really. You know, we've got to we've got to be able to get the fight done and get it get it locked away. So, um, you know, Sam's fought himself into a position to be Mr. Mandatory. Uh, so that really helps with the negotiations. But we'll be talking to Mr. Honda, and hopefully we can get that fight locked away um, and have a date that we can announce and that we can, um, you know, let everyone know that Sam's coming for undisputed. Liam Wilson, an impressive win as well. Great win, great win. Uh, I really enjoyed the fight too. I thought I thought Liam uh, controlled it well early. Yui was really coming coming back strong, and I thought Yui took the power really well for most of that fight. Um, I think that's why I was so shocked uh, when he got caught and went down because he'd taken Liam's punches so well up to that point, and um, I thought it was looking looking dangerous for Liam at that point, but. You know, that, that one punch power that changes everything. Liam Wilson possesses it, and that's why he's such an entertaining fighter. Cambosis Wilson, is that a fight that can happen? I think it's a great fight. It's a fight that should happen. That's what I think. I think Cambosis Wilson should happen. I think both these guys have fought for world titles. They've showed that they're world class. Um, you know, in recent fights, they've been unsuccessful in their world title shots. So they're both looking to prove that that they're still amongst the world class, amongst the elite, and I think a fight against each other, a great domestic showdown like that. The energy in the room for the, for the Wilson Dib fight was great, and that's two great Aussie fighters um, coming up against each other. Uh, Liam Wilson's got a great support base, George Kambosis has a massive support base. It'll be a huge fight here in Australia, and one that everyone will get behind. Kambosis okay, seems to be pushing back against that fight. Um, how do you sort of um, navigate that? Oh, look, I'd push back against it too. Liam Wilson can knock people out. I'll, I wouldn't want to risk a fight against Liam Wilson. Uh, Barry Hall, Curtis Scott, um, what would you make of that one? Uh, Curtis just showed the level that he's at. I think that deceptive power, he's, he's a small heavyweight, he's a very small heavyweight, but when he lands, he's got, he's got serious power in his hands. He's, he's a very good... He's a very powerful boxer. He's very good, and he's and he's got no fear either. Um, you know, I, I thought that Barry might be able to control the fight early with his jab and his speed, but Curtis just pushed forward and, and had no fear. He's a he's a fearless fighter, and he's got power. Off to Vegas tomorrow. 
Uh, I, the boys are going tomorrow. I'm going the day after. So huge fight for Andre. Um, he's he's really prepared well for this, uh, and it's a fight that nobody else in the world wants. Um, but Andre's a guy who, who wants it. I, he believes that he can win, and I believe he can too. I think it's a, a great opportunity for him. The fact that he's getting a world title shot in Vegas, um, it's something that, you know, that, that that's a dream of many fighters. Uh, he's actually going to be there, and, and I think he can get the win. Beauty. Thanks, George.